Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how you can download the official mods for Beat Saber 1.19. A few days ago I made a video showing you how you can get unofficial mods onto Beat Saber 1.19 by using 1.18 mods. Uh, those were unofficial mods, those weren't technically for 1.19, but some of them worked. But in today's video I'm going to be showing you like the actual uh, released mods that work for 1.19. And also, I just want to say, Merry Christmas everyone, if this is your first time watching any of my videos or just clicking on my channel, thank you. It means a lot. If you find this video helpful, I have a whole bunch of videos on tutorials and just Beat Saber in general that you might like. So consider subscribing, it's free and you can always unsubscribe later. Oh my god, I actually did a dream thing. So the first thing you want to do in order to get mods onto Beat Saber is actually have Beat Saber, but get everything set up on your desktop as well. I am going to be doing this on a desktop PC, so that means you are going to have to use the Oculus version of Beat Saber or the Steam VR version of Beat Saber. Either one of these will work. So just make sure you have Beat Saber on either one of these platforms. If you want to, you can also go to the Beat Saber modding group page on Discord. This is actually a really great place to just get in touch with the community and see what everyone is making, see a bunch of videos, and also see mods. I'll have links to everything that I use in the description below, but for right now we can just close Discord and actually go into our browser. We want to go up to the search bar and type in Mod Assistant. Now once you've searched for that, just go down here and press on the first link. This will open up a GitHub page, scroll down to where this big Mod Assistant logo is, and click download here. This will actually take you to another page where you can download the Mod Assistant files. Go down here to where it says modassistant.exe, click on that, and it'll start downloading. If this is your first time downloading it, it'll just say Mod Assistant. It says 13 for me because I've apparently downloaded it 13 times. But once you have Mod Assistant downloaded from the browser, all you need to do is just make the tab smaller and drag it onto your desktop wherever you like. Now that Mod Assistant is on your desktop, all you need to do is just double click it. And this little tab will show up, cannot detect your Beat Saber install folder, please select it manually. So what this means is that there's going to be two different file locations that you could find the Beat Saber install folder. One for Steam and Oculus. So again, if you have Beat Saber for Oculus, it's going to be in the Oculus folders. And if you have it for Steam, it's going to be in the Steam folders. If you don't know the file paths for Steam or Oculus, I'll have them right on the screen right now so you can pause the video and look through your way through your folders and find your Beat Saber install folder. So since I have Beat Saber on Oculus, I'm going to be using the Oculus file. So just press OK and it'll open up your files, go down to Windows, Oculus is in program files and then scroll down to where it says Oculus, open this up, go to software, software again, and then the Beat Saber install folder is right there. So then we just open that up and this is what the Beat Saber install folder looks like. I'll go over this a little bit later. And then once you actually have it, whether Oculus or Steam, press save. Now that you put in the file location for Beat Saber, Mod Assistant will open up and will take you to this page. You can read this page, it's not really important, but there's one thing that I do want to point out, that every single Beat Saber update that happens, mods will break, it's just part of the update. Um, it's not Beat Saber's fault, it's just part of the update. So don't give Beat Saber any bull****. Once you read over this, just go down here to press I agree, and you are now able to use the mods tab. So the mod tab is right up here in the top left corner. It will load up, and these are all the mods that you can download for Beat Saber 1.19. You can see down here in the bottom left corner, it says game version 1.19. It also has a bunch of other versions, but this is the one that we're gonna wanna be on. So in order for all the mods to work, you need to have all of the core mods checked off. Not necessarily camera two, I'm gonna turn it on though since I make Beat Saber videos and it's actually pretty useful. But besides camera two, you have to have all the other core mods checked off. Once you have those checked off, you can just go through the list of mods and see what you want. I'll go for custom platforms, mapping extensions, uh, song browser. And so again, if you wanna download any other 
mods, all you need to do is just go to this little box and click on it. Make sure the check mark is there. That means you will actually have the mod on Beat Saber. Once you have all the mods checked off that you want, just go down here to the bottom right corner of Mod Assistant and click the Install or Update tab. That will install all the mods that you checked off and they are now finished installing mods. You can see here on the left side, it has a little uninstall button for every single mod that has a check mark. If modded Beat Saber is running slow or you just don't want a mod anymore, all you need to do is just press the uninstall button, uh, select yes, and go over here and uncheck the box. Once you have that done, just go over here to press install or update again, and it will take that mod out of your Beat Saber install folder. Another thing I want to note is that these aren't all the mods that are on Beat Saber. There are a ton more mods, but they just haven't been updated yet. So just give it a few more days and you'll see a bunch of more mods that you can download uh, off of Mod Assistant. All right, now that we have all the mods that we want on Mod Assistant, I actually want to take you to where those mods are stored in your Beat Saber install folder. So again, if you haven't already opened it up, just go through either one of these file paths on the screen. And this is what it should look like. Yours might be a little different if this is your first time, the plugins won't be there, and sometimes custom notes or platforms or anything else might not be there. If we ignore all the old plugins folder and look at this specific plugins folder and open it up, it'll say the folder is empty. Now this is where all the mod files or DLL files should be. But in order for all those files to show up in this folder, we actually need to run Beat Saber at least once. All right, so I am now opening up Beat Saber and you can see over there, this is where our mod tabs are going to be. Right now it only shows camera two and custom platforms, but if you were to download other mods such as custom sabers or custom notes, they'll just show up right here. You can also see all of my custom songs are here and it also gives me other options to sort them by. Now, if we close Beat Saber and go back to our Beat Saber install folder, open the plugins folder, you'll see all of our mods are right here. You have mapping extensions, camera two, and this is where all of your mods are gonna be. Speaking about other mods, let's go back to Discord. Like I said earlier, there is a Beat Saber modding group Discord where you can actually go and just talk to the community, see what's going up, see new maps and everything, or you can also see custom mods. If you go down to the public releases tab, this is where all of your mods and different things are going to be. There are sub tabs for standalone quest mods, but that's a whole different tutorial on how to do. The tab that we're going to want to focus on is the PC mods tab. If we open this up, this will take us to the PC mods tab where we can download and install custom mods that the community has made from Discord and put it into our folder. So there's already quite a lot of mods that we can download here. You can download as many as you want and then just put it into your folder or you could just download one. That's what I'm going to do. Let's say I want to down, let's download this mod. Usually each post will have a little description explaining the mod and will also have a link. Click on the link and it will open up a new tab. This is another GitHub page. And then all you need to do is just download the zip file or whatever file is right here. The zip file will download. All you need to do is just press open file, go into the plugins folder, and right here you have the DLL file. Once you see the DLL file, all you need to do is just highlight it and drag it into your Beat Saber plugins folder. And there you go, I should have that mod now. All right, so now if we go back into Beat Saber, all you need to do is just press the solo tab and right here, there is another mods tab right next to the vanilla tab. All you need to do is just press on that. And right there is the mod that we downloaded. So if you do that again with other mods, they could show up over here or in the mods tab over here. So now that you know how to download and install custom mods for Beat Saber 1.19, you can just go on here and download as many mods as you want. That also goes for Mod Assistant as well. So there you go guys, that is how you can download official mods for Beat Saber version 1.19. Again, I just want to say if this is the first video you're watching from my channel and you did like it, consider subscribing. I make a whole bunch of Beat Saber content, Beat Saber videos, and just Beat Saber tutorial videos like this one all the time. 
If you've been subscribed to the channel or this is your first time watching any of my videos, I just want to say thank you very much for watching. Hopefully this tutorial was great. If it was, consider subscribing and liking. It's free and you can always unsubscribe later. But with that, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.